Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create some frequently asked questions for your e-commerce store. I'm gonna give you a free template that you can use with some standard questions, and I'm also going to show you how to actually research some new questions from your competitors. All the resources for this video can be found down in the description below. I've got a lot of great value to go through with you right now, so let's get into it. Firstly, what are the frequently asked questions? A fact. It's basically a section on your website or your product page where you list out all the common questions your customers might have and you answer them right there on the page. You need a frequently asked questions section for your website and especially for your product page. This because it allows you to answer all these questions and objections of your customers so they don't need to go to your live chat and clog up your customer service. It establishes more trust with your customers and it basically creates an automatic salesperson on your website that can answer customer objections before they even have to ask you. So how do we create it? I'm gonna walk you through it right now, but my tips are to use my template, which I'll show you in a moment, to check out your competitors' websites, which I'll show you in a second, use Amazon, I'll show you that as well, but also what you need to do is go through all your live chat logs, all your customer research, think about the questions your customers ask you if they call you up, and use these to form your frequently asked questions because these questions need to be specific to your store. Yes, I'm gonna give you a template, but your customers, they're gonna have very specific questions about your products. I'm gonna show you an example in a second. Let's get into it right now. All right guys, this is the template that you can access. I'll leave a link at the top of the description below. It'll be on my website. I'll leave it there where you can access it. The first thing you need to do is open it up. The next thing is to make sure that you're signed in to Google. Go to the top and click sign in. It'll ask you to sign in. All right guys, now that I'm signed in to my account in Google, I'm gonna to go to file, make a copy, and then I'm gonna save this in my own drive. Once I've done that, I'll now be able to edit this template. Make sure you do that, don't skip that step, otherwise you won't be able to actually edit this template. You need to create your own copy because there's one copy that everyone has access to and create your own copy so you can edit it. So you'll see on this template that I've created a bunch of different questions that are very common for most e-commerce stores. You can just go and copy and paste this and put this on your website. Of course, make sure you review it and actually edit it for your own store. For example, I put the return and refund policy page of our demo store here, basically. It's a store that I use to test out a few different things. Sometimes when I wanna film things for YouTube and not show you my stores and my client stores. And so right here, you know, you're gonna change this link because you don't wanna put the link to my <laughs> demo store on your website. So you're gonna have to go through, same for the shopping, shipping policy page, same for the phone number here. You need to go through and change this for yourself. So don't just copy and paste the whole thing word for word change it for your store, make sure it's customized. Once you've done that, you can change any of these questions here. This is just what I recommend because these are some common questions that customers are gonna have. You need to tailor it for your product page and your store. The next thing you need to do is go find your competitors in your niche. Go look at their frequently asked questions page. For example, if I'm building the frequently asked questions page for this stroller here, this is a great product page here. Fantastic work, a good video, a really good benefits section. They built out a long form product page, which is what I highly recommend. And this is what I teach in a lot of my videos. But going down past the reviews, they have the frequently asked questions down here. I recommend having something just like this, as well as having your own frequently asked questions page on your website, which is exactly what these guys have done. But they've also got one for their individual product page that's specific to this product. Now, what you can do here is go to their competitors. So if I had a product just like this, and these guys are all my competitor, I would go through and look at all these questions and even copy some of them. I would reword them and reword the answers, of course, but I would use this as inspiration, especially if I'm a new entrant to this market. I'm looking at these guys and knowing these guys have probably done a lot of research here. They've probably got a lot of customer service inquiries and they've formulated this frequently asked questions section based on all that data. Well, I can skip ahead and get a shortcut by using this as inspiration. So I would go through, review this and then add them to my template here before I add that to my site. The next thing I would do is I would go to Amazon and I would search for the product that I'm selling. And this is great because Amazon, especially you know the high rated items on here, the ones that are ranking really well, are ranking because they put a lot of time into their product pages here. And scrolling down, often they have questions and answers here. This is a great place to get real frequently asked questions that customers have actually asked 
for this product. And I go through all the top strollers on here. And I'll go through their questions and look at how can I apply these to my own store? Can you adjust the handles for taller people? That's a really good question. How is a stroller for taller people? I have a stroller now and I have to bend down to try. So obviously, there's a lot of tall people that are sick of having strollers made for short people. You know, so it allows you to add that into your frequently asked questions so you can direct that towards those tall people that have that question commonly. And if a few people have asked that question, it's a frequently asked question. So that's where I would start. So I would look at, firstly, competitors. I would also look at Amazon listings. You can also check out eBay as well. But then the main thing that I would also check are your customer service logs. Go through your past logs, whatever chat app that you're using on your store to collect queries, even if you're using Facebook Messenger and people are messaging you on your Facebook page, go in there and look at the common questions people have. Is it about availability? Is it about the colors? Is it about sizing? And add them to your product page frequently asked questions section. If you're also doing phone support on your website, consider the sort of questions people are asking when they phone up. But guys, that is how you formulate the questions for your frequently asked questions page for your e-commerce store. I really hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like, let me know in the comment section below and consider subscribing and checking out my other videos if you wanna learn more about growing your e-commerce store with practical and authentic advice. This video here is actually part of a free course that I made that's on my website. It's all about creating product pages that convert. I'll leave a link down below as well. It's totally free. It helps you. It's all just value, value, value. I made this to help you guys improve your conversion rates and get more profits out of your e-commerce store. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.